Hello everyone, today I'm going to review about coronary anatomy. This volume render image so the aortic roots and coronary artery oriented to respect the right coronary artery. So you can see the marker on the volumetric image. So this image is focused on the right. So the first one is the start from the Aortic, aorta, so we call this portion we call the right coronary artery proximal, and then after that we call right coronary artery mid, and the last one we call right coronary artery distal. So this right coronary artery at the distal it divide into the posterior descending artery and retrolateral branch this work volume render image so the aortic root and coronary artery oriented to the spec the left coronary artery so on the right hands at the the start of the coronary artery at the left side we call main coronary artery and then it can be bifurcated. Bifurcate. So can be divided in left anterior descending proximal and then first diagonal branch and then left anterior descending mid. And then left head, entry descending the star. But if we follow on the left circumflex proximal, and then we call left circumflex mid and the star. And then we got, we, we have two obtuse marginal brand the first spawn is arrived from the proximal left circumflex and the second is arrived from the distal circumflex This is 3D volume render anterior posterior image. So the coronary artery origin, the right ventricular outflow tract and arterial appendix have been excluded to respect the cor coronary origin. So on the left side hand, Mark with the first one is left atrial appendix or right atrial appendix, and after that, right coronary artery. It continue with acute marginal branch, and then in the middle marker we call right ventricular upper tract, and on the left side. From the aortic root, we call left main coronary artery, and then it divides it into the 
left circumflex and the small brain we call a ramus intermediate and first diagonal branch and subtorque coreta and the another branch from the the main coronary artery on the left side is left anterior as descending. This 3D volume render anterior posterior image so the coronary artery origin, the right ventricle outflow tract and arterial appendix have been excluded to the spec the coronary origin. So as so in the image, on the left at the extend from the aortic the root, we call left anterior descending artery. And the other marker pointed to the proximal right coronal artery and then I stand from this, we can see the acute marginal branch. This 3D volume render image so the diaphragmatic surface of the heart. In this right dominant coronary artery system, the right coronary artery continues as the PDA along the posterior ventricular group. So on the on the left side image, on the first marker is right coronary artery, then continue by divided into the posterior lateral artery, posterior descending artery. And the other one called middle cardiac van, which is arrived from the IVC, right from the Vanakawa. On the right image, so coronary sinus, right coronary artery, acute marginal bands of the right coronary artery, divided the right coronary artery divided into posterior lateral artery and posterior descending artery. And we also see the middle kaja vine. So we, we focus the first one to the left main coronary artery. So it's arrived from the left coronary sinus, a variable, a variable length, but usually less than 2 cm, was behind a right ventricular, ventricular outflow tract between pulmonary trunk and left atrium. Left main coronary artery stenosis more than or equal 50% significant. In contrast, stenosis of more than 50% significant in all other segments. Usually, medication into lack anterior descending and left second crack. Commonly three focate into left anterior descending 
left circumflex and the right and, and the eyes. So I may follow the course of the of just marginal or diagonal branch. Really is absent with left main coronary artery and left circumflex origin directly from left coronary sinus. So this angography. So right entry of the counter view of selective angiography. So a left dominant coronary system. So at the proximal we call left main coronary artery, and it's divided into left second circumflex artery, and then and left anterior descending artery. We, we can also see a just marginal brand that right from the left circumflex artery and at the distal of left circumflex artery we can see the posterior descending artery. And from the left anterior descending artery, it has small brain like the diagonal branch and subtle brain. S 3D volume a render image, so the left coronary artery. So at the proximal, we can see left main coronary artery and then divide it into left circumflex. At the list of this left circumflex, we call obvious marginal brain and then Far further divided into the anterior descending coronary artery bridge segments, diagonal branch, three D volume render image. So the left main coronary artery bifurcation. The left atrial appendix has been excluded as the left main coronary artery would otherwise be hidden underneath. So we, this image show the left main coronary artery, which is divided into left anterior descending artery and left circumflex. Continue or right from the left anterior descending artery is diagonal branch. The axial of IPCT demonstrate three pulcation of the left main coronary artery into left anterior descending Ramus intermediates or I and the left sec circumflex branch. Here the sino atrial nodule artery arrive from the proximal left circumflex, a normal variant. So at the proximal, we call left main artery, and then we divide it into three main branch. We call left anterior descending artery, and then a ramus intermediate brain, and then left circumflex. So from the left circumflex, we, we can see the sino atrial nodule brain.
So this volume or render image, so enlightenment coronary artery triplication, the ramus intermediate most common was laterally in the assembly direction as the first diagonal, but can also run parallel to the obvious marginal artery. So the main coronary artery divided into left circumflex and then the ramus intermediate and then left anterior descending artery. Three D volume a render image. So an uh, uncommon moment where the left main coronary artery is absent. And the left anterior descending and circumflex array, anterior array from separate posterior of the left coronary sinus. So in this case, there is no main, uh, left main coronary artery, but we can see the left from the left coronary sinus. There is two brand, there is two brand. The first one is left anterior descending artery, and the second is elastic complex, which of where the obtuse marginal brain arise. And then in between them, we can see the anterior interventricular vein, and then from the left anterior descending artery, there is a diagonal brain. Okay. Left anterior descending coronary artery. So it usually it's continuation of the left main coronary artery and run along anterior interventricular group. Occasionally guide into ventricular myocardial from myocardial brain, which Diagonal brain run diagonally over anterior ventricle wall. So number sequentially from the proximal to distal to the string supply anterior lateral wall. Superior subtop perforator branch. Extend into interventricular septum and enter left anterior descending to myocardium. Septal preparator supply anterior two thirds of septum and second septum preparator commonly supply his bundle and brand of. AVN may form collateral to the post uh, to the PDA via inferior septal preparator. Right ventricular branch are small but may form collateral to right coronary artery. Distal left anterior. Descending often wrap around a peg and may form collateral to distort PDA. Segmentation proximal lat and up left main coronary artery to first large subtop or D1 which ever is more proximal, mid lat and or proximal lat to 
second distance a second distance to a back. This the last end of mid last to end of land. Three D volume a render image so the left main trifurcation into left entry descending ramas intermediates and circumflex coronary artery. Left circumflex. So it's a right from the left main, usually left main coronary artery at nearly perpendicular angle, run around mitral annulus in left atrial ventricular group. Up to marginal brain, OM1, OM2, OM3, non-dominant left circumflex often terminate as OM branch. Native less circumflex distal to OM branch is often diminutive. If left dominant brain into PLV and PDA, left circumflex and OM branch supply lateral pivot and portion of anterior enterolateral papillary muscle. Segmentation, proximal LCH, and of LM to origin of OM1 and mid and distal left circumflex distal to OM1 to end of circumflex of PDA origin. For coronary angiogram, demonstrated Cause and origin of the left circumflex coronary artery, left anterior oblique cauda, spider, you respect the left main proximal lung, and left circumflex coronary artery. So this one is from the left main artery divided into proximal left anterior descending artery and left circumflex coronary artery. Right coronary artery. Right from right coronary sinus, pass in the right atrial appendix, and descend into the right anterior uh, atrial ventricular group. In 50%, first strand of right coronary artery is corner strand. In 60%, sand is like brand. Acute marginal brand may be large and stand in two effect. If right dominant circulation, the right coronary artery will be paid into PDA and PLV at Gaja. So when right dominant, let's try as right P, D, A. When left dominant, is left P, D, A. P, D, A around a law, posterior interventricular group, and supply posterior, a third of the inferior septum, P, L, B, cause several up, this is the source of avian branch. Segmentation. Proximal right coronary artery, posterior to a second distance to acute marginal point, marginal point. Mid right coronary artery and proximal right coronary artery to acute margin. And this time, acute margin to PDA origin. 
left ventricle oblique project sensor uh, right dominant coronary artery system. So a right coronary artery meet, it divides into right coronary artery prox proximal. Uh, so it continues from the proximal and then coronary distal. So acute marginal is arrived from the mid right coronary artery. From the distal right coronary artery, divided into posterior lateral branch and posterior descending artery. Right from the proximal portion of the right coronary artery is conus branch. So this image of the right coronary artery and right from it is posterior lateral artery and posterior descending artery from the distal portion, uh, which is from the C view due to characteristic apparent of the right coronary artery. So this image respect the sinoatrial artery arising from the proximal right coronary artery, the most common vein, less common the sinoatrial artery arise from the left sea complex. Really, it may arise directly from the right coronary sinus. Dominant, dominant defined by supply of PDA and PLV. Right, left, and concominant, condominant coronary artery system. About 85% right dominant right coronary artery supply, supply PDA and PLV. 8% left dominant is Left C complex supply PDA and PRV. 7% co dominant right coronary artery and left C complex CR supply of the PDA and or PRV. Area super dominant right coronary artery supply territory of the diminutive left C complex artery area wrap around lab. Supply PDA. So this 3D volume render image so the inferior surface of the heart in the right dominant system, not middle cardiac vein, which was alongside the PDA in the posterior interventricular group. Co-dominant, co so we, 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 co dominant coronary system so in this image, the PRV is supplied from the C complex and the PDA arrive from the right coronary artery. Left dominant coronary system is shown, both posterior descending artery and left, posterior left ventricle arrive from the left second plane. Curve multiplying line reformation. So the left anterior descending coronary artery, which arrive from the left main coronary artery and travel along the anterior 
So this image saw the left circumflex coronary artery, which arrived from the left main coronary artery, and this sent into the left anterior arterial ventricular groove. This image saw the right coronary artery, which arrived from the right coronary sinus, and passed under the right atrial appendix as it descend into right arterial ventricular groove. Thank you.